All right, I'm a school bus driver today. <laughs> we got a uh, E tuned. Here, let me. I gotta undo the back here. It's our safety thing. Now the kids can go out the back. All right, so this is a E tuned for school bus. Yeah, eco tuned. Eco tuned. Yeah, it's got heat and AC, and it's even got a radio. Dome lights, so that you got your dome lights. Sweet. Okay. At night, it's got a heater in the back What's there. What's this thing do? That is, I think, AC. Oh, okay. I need. I haven't even used that yet. Sweet, it's got. Just got a backup camera. Sweet. Yeah, it just drives like an automatic. Yeah, it's got different drive modes. Um. If you go into position four, I have it programmed with them to do the most uh, regen. Okay. If you hit the big button on the radio, it'll hush it up. It'll mute it. So the weird thing about this is it's got the uh, two. It's got a two-speed transmission. Okay. Yeah. It takes a little getting used to. Dude, this drives so smooth. Oh yeah. in there today before you take off. Yeah. Alright, give it a little juice. Oh, that's quick. We're not messing around. This is quick. <laughs> For a big school bus? Yeah. I'll maybe go up here and turn around? Yeah. So I'm here with Kenny. He's He works at this school and <laughs> has an EV vehicle class, I guess. Yep. We're going to. Now that we have this Ford Ranger. Oh yeah, we got some regen. This is, I had him turn it pretty much all the way up for me. Do you do the route? Yeah, I do the route. Okay. Morning and afternoon, yeah. We have two of these. One of them's um, getting a seatbelt fixed right now. So I'll pick that up on Monday. This thing drives awesome. Doesn't it? Yeah. I really oh, like driving. Shifting? That must have been the shift. Did you feel it? Yeah. yeah. It like lets out for a little bit. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of regen. Yeah. Yeah, I made him I made him crank it all the way up for me. It's a little wide, you gotta do the wide turn, you know? Yeah. I don't wanna be a school bus driver if I could drive this. <laughs> no. These are pretty, um, there's not a lot of these out there. Guess the, the price of this thing. Oh, it's gotta be six figures, right? Oh yeah. How we, much? We paid uh, 350,000 each. Oh, dude, yeah. you can get a McLaren. Well, I know, you can get a McLaren. <laughs> um, well, I guess school buses are probably not cheap. No, I think this is probably double what a normal one would be, but we, you know, we wrote grants for this, so it was fully paid for uh, by the state, Colorado, and the EPA. Okay. Yeah. Hey, quiet down back there. I'll turn this bus around. <laughs> cool. Yeah. There's a downshifting. You hear it? It's yeah. clunky. That's happy you can get in front of people. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> it's fun, right? Yeah, thanks for letting me drive it. Yeah. So you're going to park it in, I guess that same spot it was in. You can charge it from there. Best you can. Yep, exactly. Dude, you're natural. <laughs> <laughs> you ever need a uh, bus driving job? Just come talk to me. All right. <laughs> Sweet. 1,500 miles on it.
Yep, brand new. Does this show us any cool info? Not really. Um, I do have telematic, like a login though, so I can look at everything on there. Remotely? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. The history, the whole full history, all the battery stuff, all the stuff you'd like to nerd out on. Does it have like the safety lights? Um, it doesn't, it's not, it's not like a route bus with the, you know, the stoplight that comes out and all that. It's, it's called an activity bus. So we don't, cause we okay. don't, we don't run like route, like traditional routes where we stop in the middle of streets What's and pick up kids. Little button do? That starts the cameras. If something were to happen, Oh. it's like a marker. Okay. So that well, I've been pushing it. So. Cool. <laughs> sweet. Well, thanks for letting me drive it. Of course. This is sweet. It's fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's got CCS and um, a J1, you know, just regular. Sweet. It's got fast charging. It's got fast charging. Plugging it in. Yeah, I wonder if Shelby's still open. It might be open till 3. All right, check it out. So this is in late 80s or early 90s Ford Ranger, and it's been converted to electric. This was actually my neighbor's truck that I knew about from walking my dogs through the neighborhood. But um, the batteries in it were some old lead acid batteries that he got actually working at an auto parts store and he would get the customer returns. So it had a whole bunch of lead acid batteries, 12 of them. Um, and he was only able to drive it a few miles just because the battery technology is no good. Um, I was talking to him about upgrading the batteries, but it just didn't fit his budget. So anyway, he ended up donating it to my friend Kenny here at the high school, and he's gonna have the kids work on this thing, learn about how EVs work, and then eventually get it running with some uh, probably Nissan Leaf batteries. So this thing's pretty sweet. It's just got like a forklift style DC motor up front. It's got a charger, DC to DC converter, a power string, and a uh, vacuum pump for the brakes and um, it's pretty well complete just needs some new batteries you can see the uh, the bed tilts up and the battery boxes are here and another battery box there with the charger but they're just empty right now but it's cool it's got the tilt bed on it already so it's it's kind of ready to go it just needs somebody to put some love into it and some lithium batteries um, but the owner actually donated it to the school here uh, just as charity so that these kids have something to work on and uh, today I drove it up here on my trailer and uh, Kenny took delivery of it he's gonna start working on it and getting it going but just goes to show you there's a lot of EVs like this out there that somebody built and then they're just kind of sitting because they need new batteries or they need something like that so it's a really good option to get into an EV conversion you can save a ton of money all the hard work's already done the motor is already mounted in there it's the architecture is kind of ready for it so um, there's a lot of things like this out there for pretty cheap so just something to keep in mind if you want to do your own EV conversion maybe starting with somebody else's project would be the way to go uh, unfortunately it's locked up so I can't show you anything but I'll put up some photos of the various bits of the truck and you can take a look at that so thanks again for watching just a short video today but wanted to get something out there see you next time